Logan Paul just landed himself in the number three spot on the Forbes list for top entertainment influencer in the world. Little bro Jake, he didn't even make the top 10. You'll see me give a high five to my little brother Jake Paul, a a a, who is also on the wrestling team, but not as good as me, kind of just like in everything else in his life. With his level of celebrity comes a few lifestyle perks most kids his age couldn't even imagine. Logan's picked up a Mercedes Benz G550 4x4 squared, which he got raised up, and the whole thing cost a bunch of bank. This ride is a pretty big step up from his Dodge Challenger, and the other thing he was riding around town in. The best investment I've ever made. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just driving in a school bus that I bought. While he's building up his bank account, this Maverick is currently renting in Hollywood, and there, the rent prices, they don't come cheap. I just found Logan Paul's apartment, and it's right up there. And that's like his gym that he works out at, and that's like his house right there. He's also picked up a few things along the way, like his parrot and his dog. Although his pets didn't cost them that much, they're also living the good life, with him having purchased Maverick a $5,000 diamond ring. Most online sources peg Logan Paul's net worth to be around $1 to $3 million as of 2016, which is nothing to balk at. But his current career trajectory and his success in 2017 have me guessing that he's going to be worth a whole lot more than that. We're talking like five to ten million dollars. Good for him though, the guy totally deserves it. Those who watch his vlogs, they know the kid, he's working day and night. In life, you can't always win. You can try, of course, but you just cannot always win. Bro, I'd totally be placing you in the winning category. Wait till you hear what Logan is reportedly pulling in with a single Instagram or Facebook post. For the record, I'm a huge fan of Logan Paul. If he were a stock, I would invest in it. But for now, I'm going to walk you through his financial come up, where the money is coming from, and what he spends it on here for you on The Rich Life. My name is Michael Cred, and I got a question for you guys. How tall is Logan and what does he weigh? Okay, I'll admit that's a pretty weird question, but when I met him at VidCon, that's the only thing I asked him. I guess I got a little starstruck. Please place your guesses in the comments down below. Now let's roll that intro. And I'll tell you the answer at the end of the video, of course. If I share with you my story, would you share your dollar with me? Paul is an April Fool's baby born on April 1st, 1995 in Westlake, Ohio. Now I've gone into tons of detail about his early life and his career come up in the Before They Are Famous video I made on him. Be sure to check that out or you can watch Logan Paul reacting to my Before They Are Famous video. Take your pick. He's since dropped out of school and his plan now is to become the biggest entertainer in the world. Fact. And to be honest, I think it's going to happen. That's my Boy, Michael. Logan's career in the entertainment industry started out on Vine, and he clocked in a total of 9.4 million followers and over 4 billion loops. Although that didn't exactly translate into dollars from views, it did lead to lucrative branded deals. He was chosen by Pepsi for a Vine-based advertising campaign to promote the Super Bowl halftime show featuring Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. His first branded Vine paid out $2,000, and that number quickly climbed into the five-figure bracket, and he didn't just work with Pepsi. He had branded deals with HBO, with Ritz, with Virgin Mobile, and there were more. I was called out on Twitter to take the five gum to the dare challenge. Join me. Buy a pack of five gum. Do the dares in the pack. Post them with the hashtag. We're finding the best ones. With money rolling in and an entertainment career in the works, Logan did three important things. He dropped out of school, he moved to LA, and he got started on YouTube. His channel, The Official Logan Paul, was started in 2013 and today boasts 183 million views. Logan Paul Vlogs was started in 2015 and has just surpassed 1 billion views. Now, the average YouTuber who monetizes his or her videos makes on average $2 per 1,000 views. So simple math tells me that the Low Gang has allowed Logan to pull in an easy $2,366,000. Okay, the math was a little tougher, but anyway, you know, and that's all in like recent months. The kid's killing it. YouTube channel is clocking in 60,000 subscribers a day and over 10 million views. We're talking like $20,000 a day. There's also a program known as Google Preferred where deep pocketed companies can target ads on the top 5% of most popular content. So for Logan and his brother, the money be coming in every day, bro. But wait! At the time of this recording, Logan has 13.1 million followers on Instagram, 2.4 million on his second channel, More Logan Paul, and according to Forbes, he earns 150 per Facebook post and 80,000 for sponsored content on Instagram. Yeah, 
Also his acting, well that would line his pockets with a little bit of spending money. One more thing Logan is doing to grow his brand and earning potential is through merchandise and he's doing a bang up job. I mean his merch shop Maverick by Logan Paul has over 700,000 followers on Instagram alone. Now all this money doesn't go straight into his pocket, you guys gotta remember that there are taxes. His manager probably grabs 20%, he needs a financial planner who would take another like 5% and then there's the cost for his video production. We're talking cameraman, editor, prop, sets, all that stuff, it comes out of his pocket. Hey guys, it's me Logan coming at you live from my phone because my camera just broke, yep, fell right there, I don't know how the footage looks, hopefully it's usable. Okay, so now we can move on to the good stuff, what he spent his money on. In truth, Logan isn't much of a big spender. Prior to launching his merch store, it looks like he was wearing the same France tank top from H&M for like a year. And that thing only costs around 12 bucks. I know this because I have the exact same one. When Logan moved to Los Angeles, he was riding around in a purple 2014 Dodge Challenger, which he probably picked up for around 30k. He also got his hands on a motorcycle, computer equipment, and a 90 inch TV. Besides that, all he states he really spent his money on was food. The kid lives pretty frugal, but now he's on another level. So let's talk about the sweet ride he just recently got his hands on. His Mercedes Benz G550 4x4 squared, which has been raised, would cost the average Joe a quarter of a million dollars. It can blast to 60 miles per hour in less than six seconds, and it's built for all terrain. So look forward to this dude making some great videos out in the desert. When Logan moved to Hollywood, he moved to 1600 Vine Street, where all the cool viners were living. Here, the rent prices start out at $3,000. For whatever reason, Logan got the boot from this building and decided to set up home in another Hollywood residence. Now, I don't want to be the guy who gives away his address, but the rent prices here are really steep. We're talking like $10,000 a month. Good thing the dude opted for a roommate. got a parrot now I don't know if it's a rescue animal but online prices go anywhere from 200 to 1200 dollars he's also got a new dog I'll let him tell you the price of that who owns this dog right there you own this dog how much for the dog $2,500. Scrolling through Logan's vlog channel, it appears he's finally starting to spend some of his hard earned cash. There was his $100,000 Hawaiian vacation, he lost $10,000 in a day, and he's given away five grand to a fan. Honestly, if I had his kind of money, I'd spend it on liposuction. Because me and the dude are almost the same height. Like he's 6'2, I'm 6'3, but he weighs 205 and I weigh a cool 250. I just can't drop the LBs. Hey, fatty boom boom. Hey, fatty boom boom. Yeah, I don't, that, that was a weird clip and a weird. I was just trying to tie it all in together. Anyways, let us know who's next on the Rich Life. This is episode 11 of season one, I think. We're gonna do 15 and then we're gonna take a break, so be sure to get your requests in. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at McCruddenM. Also, we got all the links to Logan Paul down below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.